What's up, this your boy Kaminsky. Thanks for tuning in to Battle King TV. We're here at Black Light Studio, and I'm sitting down with Sin, Sensei. What's up, man? How you feeling today, man? Ain't nothing, man, I'm chilling. how about you? Doing good, man, I'm doing good now. Uh, I wanna say congrats on the album. I heard yeah. it, it's dope project, man. Dope, dope project Appreciate now. That. Appreciate uh, that. Got a couple questions with you. Uh, I wanna sit down and just chop it up real quick now. <clears throat> Putting together this album, what was your vision on, you know, uh, this track, this track? What was your vision to put together the whole project? Um, the first thing is always to put out um, the best, the best music. The project didn't take the shape it takes that you that y'all have. Didn't take shape till after I began recording. It's a process. The way that I record is different from everybody. I ain't gonna spill my secrets, but okay, yeah, um, I was just about to ask. Nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna tell them how we came to the joint, but okay. um, you know, me and my team, we get together and we just wanted to make sure we package it up real nice for the listeners. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, um, off the album, man, heard heard. I didn't listen to it about five times. To be honest with you, mm. favorite my personally my favorite track I think is so creative was Seven K. Hands down, hands down, 7K, man. I, right. I thought it was dope. Now, through the auto project, through the through the whole project, if you had to, I know it's hard. Hmm. If you had to pick one that you would that that would mean so much to you out of all out of all the tracks that you got up there, which one would you choose and why? Um, it's a it's a fifty fifty split between the mommy and the beautiful girl. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I think they show the most human side of myself. Mm -hmm. People get caught up into this thing with, with MCs or rappers or artists. Image, you know, okay. Yeah, like they they forget that they're also people. Gotcha. And um, mm -hmm. you know, those thing those songs wouldn't be songs without the important people that they're about. Gotcha. So gotcha. um those are those have to be my favorite too. Okay, yeah, and I and I and, and the uh I believe it's called Inner City Blues. Yeah. Uh, that was a very dope dope track man I, I really liked it that one now we're going we're going we're going uh <clears throat> i know you i know you didn't want to tell your secrets right. about how <laughs> how you get the recording but i want to see i want to get the concept of how you approach a song let's say you're in the studio session how do you break it down from the beat to the subject or how you say hey this is what we're gonna do with this song. This is what I'm excited to do in this song. This is how it's gonna go. Like, how how do you uh, get yourself ready for that to attack? Um, it's a feel thing for me. Like, I come in. Um, the beat normally tells me where to go, gotcha. content wise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, that's the first thing off the table. Second, um, you're picking uh, a throw between flows. How do I want to rhyme on the songs? Because you you know you trying, might try to find a different pocket. Okay. Um, it, I usually go with the second choice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even if I come in and I pre-write it, then come in or write it at home. Mm -hmm. Or with this project, we did a lot of in-studio writing because our ideas were just flying off the wall. Gotcha. But I usually go with um, my second choice as far as what flow to use attacking the song. Okay. Have you ever came across it where you were just, you have one flow with one song and then you said, no, nah, we're going to switch it up. Then you end up going back to the first way that you did it. Then you're like, nah, yeah, it, it has. It's it's worked that way. But like, I the, normally the first thing I do, I would record the second, the okay. second right, the second wave of it. Okay. And because I might say, if so and so, someone else industry or somebody that I grew up listening to, if they heard this, then the first thing would be okay. That's an, that that sounds way too regular. Right. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What can I do to add the sensei flavor to it? Gotcha. So most yeah. of the time I'll already have it because because I'm actually able to freestyle, it helps. Gotcha. So okay. I might have that before I actually get to something I saw. I was like, nah, that might be kind of plain. So how can I, you know, ride the beat appropriately to where it, you don't get the, um, it gives you something else to, to play with in the song. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and, and through that project, definitely uh, unique. From yeah. track to track, you're definitely unique. Uh, Let's see here. Let's uh let's go back for a minute. Um let's see here. Let's go back. Start when you started rapping, what got you into music? My parents. parents. My parents, yeah. But they're they're big R and B. Okay. So you grew up on listening to R and B Yeah, I had to go outside the house to get my hip hop, my rap. Okay. Which is cool, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause it, it 
in the long run, it balances me out. Okay. You know, and then with, you know, the group of friends, I got a real diverse group of friends to where um, some people will play country, some people will play rock. Yeah. So that kind of gives me a feel for what Joe Schmo across the streets listening to. Gotcha. But okay. to me, music is music. If it makes me feel a certain way, I play it. So yeah. it don't matter to me. Yeah, yeah, feel that. Now, um, now coming up um back when you started mm -hmm. uh doing your music and everything um as far as back then to now what do you see is a big difference within the game within the music game right now uh locally back then you know what was going on uh how the movement was um far as I know your team and what y'all was doing, what was the difference in back then from now? Um, now I see a lot more now you see uh, you know, people having more control over what's being put out, um, or what they're going for as far as being a team or being a group, being a label, being whatever. Mm -hmm. Like now they're way more knowledgeable about the bigger things, you know, that that usually would be left to yo if we signed industry. Now people are actually taking control over, you know, their their product. Gotcha. So that that's yeah. that's bigger. And then um, competition is always different. As music changes, competition, competition always changes yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Because you know I could have a hierarchy somewhere over here, but when the music switches and these guys over here are getting it, then they're looking at you like, well, why y'all think that guy's still hot? So then you got to go through the avenue of basically saying, well, hold on. Like, I still got to let y'all know I'm still that dude. Yeah. So it's, it's always a level of competition. Um, so competition changes. And then um, just the control that people have about what happens to their product is also changing. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> any, <clears throat> far as locally, um, is there any producer that you want to work with. You had a lot of crazy, it was a lot of crazy janks up there. Uh, I, I, I didn't come across, I don't think I came across one song where the, the, the beats wasn't crazy. But is there any producer that you haven't worked with that you're looking to work with or would like um, to work with? Not to, not to narrow it down to one, I'm just saying my thing is always about work ethic. Mm -hmm. If we're there, you know, mentally, or we in the same room, whatever happens, a lot of the, um, you know, relationships I built with, with producers, we might have just been in the same room or somebody seen me out or somebody do it. Okay. I did a show. Mm -hmm. The good thing about it was, like, I sat down with them before I even did a record. Okay. You know, like, I probably, a couple of cats, like, um, even before I did features, too, mm -hmm. I went to their crib and chilled with them. Mm -hmm. or I went to a studio session and we just listened. Listen. Okay. You know, listen to music, chop it up. You may, you know, just about... Yeah. Get ourselves in general, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because like when I come in, I, I like to get the feel. If mm -hmm. I ever bring you in, mm -hmm. I offer that same feel. Like, let's see how this feels first before we start saying, Let's do the song. Mm -hmm. Not to say that you know, one beat is a bad beat, mm -hmm. that's just not how I feel today. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the one of the joints I do, I had a homie one time, um, he probably played me 30 joints, and I just wasn't digging them that mm -hmm. day. Gotcha. Yeah. Seen him two months later. He paid me the same 30 joints and I like six. That's it. Yeah. But yeah. that's just how I felt that day. day. Yeah. So that, you know what I'm saying, it also goes back to the other question. In the, um, when I approach the studio session, when I approach the beat, be in the moment. it's yeah. all in the feel. Yeah. How I feel that day. Exactly. Exactly. Let's see. All right. Um, now, as far as, uh, I know you say you had to, um, get a feel with, uh, you know, be around somebody for, for his features uh, on a track. Uh, is there anybody that you work, uh, trying to work with or looking forward to working with or? I'm like always, that? like I said, I'm always looking always forward open. to work. Always yeah, I'm always open, open man. If you, if you, I get something that comes up off you, like you serious about your craft. Mm -hmm. If I don't feel that, then you know you get the the regular see me in public yo let's do something yeah. all right man we'll get up like that that happens so many times like yeah, i can't take uh, that yeah, serious yeah but that's not on me that's on the other person, person. Okay. now if i see you and i say hey man i gotta get you on something if i'm the initiator like i'm going to call you yeah, i'm sure. going to find a day i'm going to tell you this day this time yo let's link Set up, it up. Gotcha. And, and that's what i think is different see people just do that because it's courteous to say you know what i mean i don't do that 
if I say, hey, come through, like, come through, let's get it done. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the best way to work. And then if if that works for, let's say, me and you, mm -hmm. then I'm cool with that. Let's yeah. work. Let's put out some good music. Let's, let's keep it. the people jammed. Got you. Got you. Got you. Now, uh, <clears throat> through your whole career, <clears throat> I know this might be tough, but through your whole career, mm -hmm. what was what was something that you had to struggle with far as the you know the music industry dealing going through with uh you know producers uh, uh management or anything like that through the whole shebang hmm. of doing music like what what is something that was is something that you just uh something that it was hard to deal with from the beginning to now um i think that the biggest thing for me is to there's so many hoops now you, you kind of have to to jump through to basically like get people to like records. See, I, I want to get, I always wanted to get to the point where they say, hey, Sensei has a record out and your ears go up. Yeah. Like the way I felt that like, okay, Nas got a new record out. I'm going to go get that. Get that. Mm -hmm. You know, now it's like, I don't like to go through the fact of trying to prove to you that this is a good record. Like I kind of feel like my name should be good. Mm -hmm. You know, that comes with work and that comes with time. Yeah. But I let everything, you know, I'm like, let music speak for itself. A lot of things don't get done that way. You know, with the grease and palms and the radio and all the back door and all that other stuff that people say come with it. That's part I don't like. My mm -hmm. thing was, if we, if I ever got the opportunity to sit down with whoever and you played this joint, like, you're going to like something. Mm -hmm. And that's always my feel. So if that could take place more than who paid the most for this or who got the inside track to that. Like, yeah. if the fact that it was just good music was in the front of what was going on, aside mm -hmm. from everything else, I think everything else would have been made smooth. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, it's a it's a lot of that going on, because for me too, back uh, back when, man, it was, it was more easier to actually do music, get it out there, get people to vibe with you, and now it's like a whole bunch of, uh, it's who you know. You know, yeah, it's, it's more yeah. it, it, it's more than who you know and uh you know and what people can do for you. It's it's all like that. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, that's definitely one big thing too. I do I, I do notice that. Um, now, for you, what 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 we, what we can look forward to for, for from Sensei? What we, what we got coming up? Anything next for you? Anything else you working on other than this project? As far as um, yeah, music? I'll definitely I'm gonna um, keep coming with good music, man, and just try to find a creative way to do things. Um, visuals, um, I'm getting tired of with the visuals, like, um, the Dead Weight video, that's, that's up. Yeah, the Dead, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the I first that. one, um, you know, me and my partner, T. Rivet, we sat down and, um, basically playing that out ourselves. That's mm -hmm. the first one we shot ourselves, wrote a okay. treatment for ourselves, like, all that. So, the fact that that got a good response, and the fact that we did that on our, our, our own, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, made me feel good and made me yeah. start really getting into the fact of, you know, taking control of some other things. Because okay. um, I'm a movie junkie myself. Uh -huh. So, I, you know, I got into the thing of saying, well, you know, shooting the videos, like making a movie, that whole Ice Cube ice tip. Cube thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'll say, yeah. you know, maybe I ain't saying I'm going to go do movies and no crazy <laughs> stuff, but I mean, the opportunity presents itself and I have the time and I actually probably sit down and do it. Best thing is, is um, visuals, getting you used to who I am and what kind of quality product I can make. Mm -hmm. And if all that serves its purpose, man, like I still be here, you know what I'm saying? Hope, helping the world do what it do. Okay. Yeah. Really on that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, now, man, I, I appreciate you sitting down with me, man. And I, and I thank you again. Easy work, man. With you, man. No problem. No problem now, man. Uh, I am going to hook you up with some Battle King stuff. I got to put you in something, man. So I'm, I'm going to hook you up with some stuff. I, I'll get your sizes and all the other good stuff later. Yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah, definitely, definitely. definitely going to hook you up with that. Uh, if the people need to contact you, uh, listen to your music, anything else, man, let, let them know how to uh, get to you. Um, all social media is I am Sensei. It's I am. You can't spell I am. It's your fault. I blame the school system. Sensei is S-Y-N-S-E. Might be like somewhere down the bottom just to be cool. Um iTunes, Google Play, all that is up. Um, the project Sensei is out. I ain't talking about shh, is before that. That came on 13. You got backtrack if you ain't got that. Um, videos is up. Vivo, YouTube, just find me, man. If you can spell Sensei, you pretty much can find me. I know that's right. So if you're not working on your spelling skills, and I blame you and your parents. It's all good though. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright All right, man, we're sitting here with Sensei from Black Light Studios. This is your boy Kaminsky. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to go to www.battlekingllc.com to get the latest gear from Battle King. I'll holler at you, man.